Guys, it's a Monday on EAFC 24, and EA have finally done it. They finally dropped some good upgrade packs with the release of the brand new Centurions Crafting Upgrade SBC. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can craft and grind this to get as many of these packs done as you can. Obviously, to get the three times rare gold player pack, and then also you guys can do objectives with this upgrade crafting pack in order to grab yourself the new Centurions Crafting Upgrade Completionist. So I'm going to be taking you guys through all this, explaining what you need to do and how you can grind it to get the best value to earn all these packs for you guys. Obviously, you've got 27 days to do it, so I'm going to take you guys through all of that. If you do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. We're really close to 5K. Now, without further ado, let's get straight on into today's video. If you guys are looking to get your hands on the cheapest and the safest coins around right now, then be sure to check out my new sponsor, U4GM. Don't forget to use the discount code MANZA at checkout to get 5% off your order. All the links will be in the description down below. Okay, so let's start off by solely looking at the upgrade SBC and what you're going to need to be doing in order to completing this. So as you guys can see, the Centurion's crafting upgrade. Now this is repeatable 100 times and is here for pretty much a month. It expires in 27 days. So a nice W upgrade SBC. I'd recommend you guys favorite so you don't lose track of it. Now, all you need to put into this SBC is actually 11 gold commons. Now, obviously, this is going to massively in price, increase the price of gold commons in the market. If you watched yesterday's video, you guys are already in on some gold commons on 350 coins. If not, then I'm going to show you guys how you can grind this out to get as many of these as possible to help complete the objective. So starting off, all you're going to want to do first is obviously set the quality to gold and then do untradable only rating low to high. Now what this is going to do is use untradable gold commons from your club. It may use gold rares as well. That doesn't matter too much. But as you guys can see, it uses an untradable squad. So no one here is off value. As you guys can see, every single player is untradable. And you're going to want to rinse the entirety of these players back into the upgrade SPC. And again, you can repeat this as many times. And thankfully, it doesn't send you to the pack screen. So it's very simple. All you've got to do is literally go squad builder. Okay, gold. Untradable only so we don't use cards of value. Low to high so we don't use cards that are high rated good fodder. And then go ahead, just quickly glance over everything. Make sure there's nothing you want to keep in there and send it over. So that's two of them already done. Again, you guys can put your gold uh, gold commons rated fodder and stuff into this. Very, very nice. Only 11 gold cards that you do need. Now, what that's going to have done is obviously affect the price of gold commons on the market. Now, as you guys can see, I've already been working with some gold commons already since this SBC has dropped. And I'm going to show you guys exactly my method. So starting off, what you want to do is look at gold common price on the market. Now, I would imagine that these are starting to rocket up in price due to this new upgrade. What you want to do is find the maximum buy now of these cards that they're selling for. So 400 coins, can we get them? 400 coins they're starting to go up and imagine all these will sell out yeah as you guys can see these are selling out extremely fast so these gold commons are probably going to go to 500 coins plus maybe even 600 coins on some lazy sales but there's definitely opportunity as you guys can see these cards are selling out for 500 coins right now on lazy so a really nice opportunity to buy and do these cards now, how are you going to trade with these cards? Well, as you guys can see, they sell on for 500. You may even be able to sell some on for 600 coins on lazy sales. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're getting 600 coin lazy sales. So that's really good opportunity for us to make profit. Because what you're going to want to do is go over and set the max price to 350 on these cards and beginning bidding on these cards on the market. Now, if you scroll back a few pages, what you'll find is that there'll actually be pages with cards that don't have that many bids on. And you can go ahead and just pop loads of bids on these cards. Now, this will be especially good around right now, around content time when you guys are doing this, as there won't be that much competition on the market. I've been doing this for five or so minutes since the content come out, and I've already won 18 of these cards. Obviously, we can lazy sell them on for 600 coins. So let's continue to bid these cards. If it does get too contested and you are getting out bid too much, 400 coins is completely fine. Or scroll back as many cards as you can and continue doing this method. Not every single card will have a bid on. As you guys can see, we're winning some here. We're winning the bids, just popping on from scrolling back. But if we just bid on as many of these cards as we can, I'd recommend doing it with all your coins at one particular time. What you're going to find is that, yes, on a proportion of these cards, you will get outbid on. However, also on a proportion of these cards, you will go ahead and win. Like, okay, this guy, we've been outbid on for 450, not a problem. But as you guys can see, as I scroll across all of these, and I don't know how many cards this is, it's a blimmin' lot. 19, 20 cards here, we've won for 350 coins. Now, if we go and list these all up for 600 coins, the tax on that is, pool. 30 coins so you're making 270 coins profit per card now times that by 20 that's nearly 5,000 coins profit already and this SBC has been out for five minutes you can rinse and repeat this method now obviously you guys aren't going to want to list up all of your cards that you're obviously winning on bid because you also want to grind the objective in the SBC and we'll get to the objective in one minute so what you're going to do is half the number of cards which you have 
on your transfer list. So start off by listing any duplicates because duplicates are useless. So we're going to send duplicates on because we can't put them in. We'll send them for 600 coins. That'll be nice profit on lazy sales. So that's two. And then we have 16 items left. So what you want to do is then list up half of these cards for 600 coins. It doesn't matter what position, what nation, as long as they are gold common, you can take these coins. So again, we're just going to list up all of these cards for 600. Let's do this as quick as possible. And each single one of these cards that we're listing on, we're making around about a 270 coin profit on these cards. So I think this is one of the easiest trading methods that EA have dropped so far this year. So thank you very much for dropping us SBC because it means that all of you guys that are watching this video can exploit this method. Now we've listed up eight of them cards. What we're going to do remaining eight, we're going to send those cards to our club. Now, again, we did get outbid here for 400. Winning on 400 is not a problem. You guys can see they're winning on 400. But what you can do is then lazy sell these gold comments over the hour, and that will allow you to gain your coins back. Because if you take them sales there, that's going to be around about, what is that? About 2,000 coins profit on that card. So what that does, that 2,000 coins profit, is then pays for six of the cards that you're going to put into the SBC. So nearly pays for all of the cards that we are going now to use in the SBC. Obviously, you can list up more to completely pay it for the cards which you are going to be sending to your club. How do you find them? You go acquire date newest. Then simply go ahead and put all of these cards in. So we know we sent eight to our club. So there's five, six, seven, eight. Obviously, there's ten on a page. Nine, ten. We haven't obviously done it enough just yet to be able to use all the cards. And then very simply, you can go ahead and just put these straight into the SBC. There's no chemistry requirement or anything to worry about. It's very, very easy. I think this is one of the best SPCs that EA have released so far this year. Again, and it all links into an objective to get you guys more packs. The whole reason you're doing this is obviously you get a three rare gold player pack back, which is pretty good. Obviously, we've been used to the two rare gold upgrade packs all year. So to see a three rare gold plaque is pretty nice considering you get bonus rewards for it. So we go ahead and we put that in. Now we claim our rewards. Now, as you guys can see, let's head over to the objective screen. Now, where is this new objective? So that is the whole reason you're doing this. It's actually going to be in the milestone section. It's not in live. It's not in seasonal. It's in milestones. Now, if you can't find it, simply click Y if you're on Xbox, Triangle if you're on PS5 like me, to sort by new. Then, as you guys will see, the brand new Centurions Crafting Upgrade Completionist. Now, as you guys can see, if you complete 10, you get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, 20. And all you have to do is just complete the SBC. As you guys can see, I've done it three times. I'm already three out of 10. You do 20, you get another Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Now, these are 15K packs. So, that's three 15 k packs then you move up to a 30k packs that's already 45k worth of value of packs 75k now 105k i mean it's ridiculous 135k god knows what the 83 times 3 pack is another 83 times 3 an 84 times 2 and 80 times 10 i mean this is just absolutely insane for your fodder especially if you've got a lot of gold commons and if you're willing to grind out the method that i've just shown you guys this is something that you really can craft if you want to get your packs in this game. And these packs could be something you're holding up and you're saving on for the new promo release or to try and pack a Centurions. But again, make sure you are grinding out that gold common method in order to get as many of these packs as possible. And it's not only like you're doing the SBC to complete the objectives, you get three red gold players back. So when you're opening up this SBC, not only do you have the chance of packing something good. So let's say, for example, here, what we grab, I think this is Luke Shaw, so an 83 rated, so not bad fodder, we'll take that. Okay, it's not. It's Blundell. How, what rating is she? Oh, again, an 83 rated. Same thing. So good fodder. We'll take that. So like I say, a lot of these times, these packs won't even be that poor. But then you get duplicates and you can go and rinse and repeat and put your duplicate back in. Obviously, I would do that. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you guys the remaining two packs. So any duplicates that you do get, you can just rinse and put straight back into the pack. So it's really, really effective method. Very, very easy. I don't think that's anyone. I think that's Schick. I don't know what rating he is. Uh, an 82, an 83, and an 81. Obviously, anything you pull that's tradable, you can sell and rinse and repeat. So, both of these cards I could put back into the next SBC. I'll be getting them at a quick sell recovery. Let's open up the last pack, see if we can get anything good. But this is very overpowered. I, I've genuinely not seen EA release such a good SBC for a while, especially yet this year on EAFC 24. It's something that we can grind really, really nicely. And what range this guy? 81. Okay. But you are going to have the chance to get your high rated fodder. And even if you don't, you are then going to obviously complete their objectives and get better packs. So that's three cards back into our team combined with the other dupe because we've just got six of the cards already that we can put straight back into the SBC. And you just keep recycling the same thing over and over again. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for the Foot Centurions crafting upgrade and how to do it. I do think this video has helped you guys out. If it has, make sure you've dropped a like, subscribe. Do also have a premium trading server. The link is in the description down below if you want to join that paid service. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out from me.